what up world welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel look man before i say anything else i just want to say thank every each and last one of y'all for clicking that subscribe button i'm at 300 right now 300 strong you feel what i'm saying 300 strong if it weren't for y'all hitting the subscribe button man it would not be possible so i thank each and last each and ever Y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. Thank y'all for clicking on this subscribe button, man. I'm just so excited because I not I did not expect, you know, the response that I'm getting, but I appreciate every last one of y'all. And man, I tell you, it's been crazy. I just hit my one month anniversary doing this, man. So my goal, you know, it's slowly approaching. You know, I want to be monetized. I want to do all that, but I'm setting smaller goals right now. So first, I'm trying to get it 500. Then seven, then a thousand, then you know all the other stuff. But I'm just happy to be at 300 at a month. Like I know that ain't the biggest accomplishment, and I know it ain't monetization, but it's way further than I thought I'd be. So I'm real, real, real excited about that. So I just want to say thank y'all for clicking to this video, man. If y'all new here and y'all ain't subscribed yet, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I feel like y'all gonna like my content. You know, I'm still, you know, new to it. I'm still trying to grow. I'm still trying to expand my mind on, you know, just being better at it, you know, because this is really what I want to do. Like, I really don't like going clocking in to nobody's job, being no slave to no clock, bro. I really don't. But until, you know, this becomes successful, because it will, it will, because I believe in myself, it will. It might take some time, but, hey, y'all just hitting that subscribe button is what keep me going. So, man. Go and support your girl. Go and support the team, which is me, team of me, and, you know, my family that I want to really, you know, take care of. So, I appreciate every last one of y'all. And like I said, y'all hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn them post notification bells on so y'all can know every single time I'm dropping these videos. And go ahead and like and leave some comments down below, man, because your girl, I'm trying to do something, you know what I'm saying? So... I said, why not come kick it with y'all, do a little mukbang, because, you know, I, I'm not at work, you know. I went to the doctor this morning, so I said, man, let's make this free time productive. So, today, oh, let me give y'all a little hack, if I ain't never give y'all a little hack. And no, I'm not being sponsored by nobody. It's Burger King. Now, for y'all who really mess with Burger King, because a lot of people, you know, it's Burger King versus McDonald's, you know, whatever y'all from, wherever y'all at, y'all might like. But this is for Burger King. Download they app right now. They got free stuff going on right now. So what I did was, I let y'all read this receipt. It say, what it say? Hold on, let me have my face. Free. Free fries. So if you go on that app, right? I, I guess because I've been to Burger King a couple times, I got some points. I added some points up. So I got a Whopper, a Whopper Jr., and a free large fry for the free. I didn't pay a thing, not a thing. I got it for the free, and it's all on the app. Like, that's the benefits of the app. And like I said, I ain't getting sponsored by it. So I'm just telling you because, you know, I mess with Burger King. I also mess with McDonald's, but Burger King... Man, y'all hit me up because the girl kind of broke. Girl ain't got no money right now. So, man, I'm hitting up with the, you know, with the fry. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I know what y'all came in here for, right? Y'all done seen that title. And y'all like, what, what, what the hell? What's really going on? And what really made me want to share this because... I see catfish just came back on, right? And I was thinking, bro, I just, I just started my YouTube channel. And I thought about, you know, the little incident I had. And I didn't realize, bro, I got catfish. Like, bro, I got catfish. But in my catfish store is so crazy. Like, it's so crazy. Like, let me bust it down for you. You ever imagine just being on Facebook, strolling and strolling, then you get an inbox. You know? Inbox chick ain't bad. Chick chick kinda cute. Mind you, this is like two no. I'm gonna say this about three years ago. Three, four years ago. I don't know, my timelines be crazy. But this story is real. So fast forward four years ago when I first really, you know, just got on social media like that. You know, I'm you know, I'm seeing I'm ready to mingle, do whatever, you know. Hook up, you know, 
chill, be cool, sociable. So, little chick DM in uh, Facebooks, you know. We start talking, we start doing all that little stuff like that. But mind you, they need to put a real discretion or some kind of discretion on this Facebook or these DMs. Because, bro, anybody can jump in your stuff and they can be lying. Like, baby, they, them pictures and that you ain't what you say you will. So, we talking whoop the whoop, time go by. You know, I'm feeling kind of skeptical because, you know, I don't really... I don't really do the online thing. You know, I'm more of an organic person. I like to meet a person in person and not online. Like, it ain't nothing to the people. It ain't nothing wrong with meeting people online. But, you know, I'm one of them old school type people. Like, because I know how the internet is. And I know how you can be blinded and de deception and all that. So, I'd rather just meet you in person. So, for the first time, I decided to, you know, kind of go off what I really do and, you know, Whoop the whoop, hook up with somebody on the line. Bro, a couple months go by. Me not knowing, you know, being kind of naive, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, I jumped off the porch green. I ain't know what the hell I was doing. I go see this person. Now, mind you, man, I didn't drove almost an hour out the way to go see these people. Man, when I say I pulled up, first homegirl lied about her age. She was not 18. Was not 18. She was 16. Then, baby girl, what, what are you doing? What you dress like? Like, your whole body to me. Like, ain't, like, I'm over 18. Obviously, you can, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, like, in my 20s. On November now. So, I'm like, even though, even though I'm a woman, she a woman, like, it's still some boundaries I gotta set. So, I'm as we talking and you know her and her real age is revealed. I don't know if she slipped up and told me, but her real age is revealed. Man, when I say I had to get up out of there, I made up excuses like my mom was calling. She needed me to run to the grocery store, all type of stuff, man. I had to get up out of there. Cause you know, I ain't dumb. I don't know you, you don't know me. We meet in a public place. Ain't going nobody house. I don't know you. Ain't nobody finna catch me slipping for nothing. So, bro, we meet at the, uh, at a little fast food jump. And when I say I dip don't show that, I dip don't show that. Like, I ain't got nothing else to talk about. Like, real talk. Like, I dip. So, I thought that was the end. I'm out of there. I ain't got nothing else for you. Man, fast forward, night a month. Mind you, I'm minding my business. I'm working. I ain't tripping on nothing, man. Tell me why. Like, tell me why. Shout it, pull up. At my job. Talking about she finna work there. What? You pull up. So now, not only did you catfish me, because I don't care what you say. It ain't just about... You didn't look mature like them pictures. You know, filters a mug. Filters are do you. I mean, when you get me, you're going to get me. I might not be the baddest thing walking around, but I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going to try to alter or do nothing. You're going to see the real me. So, yeah, them filters showed all your blemishes and all that. And I ain't got, I ain't judging none of that. You know, I talk to people for their spirit. That ain't even what turned me off. That ain't even what the deal break. The deal break was you was young. And I ain't looking for somebody younger than me. I mean, no disrespect to the people who do like younger people, but that ain't my preference. It's called a preference, and that ain't mine. So, yeah, that was over with, done with. So, homegirl start working in my job. We at the same job, but we working in different departments. See, I worked in the department store, you know, something like a Walmart or a Target or a Kroger, something like that, you know, you know. So, she in another department, I'm in mine. So, mind you, I work in the back with a side door where a lot of people come in and out. They work in the front as a little cashier, but oh. Man, when I tell you she had family members coming back there, she had family other co-workers coming back there looking for me all type of weird stuff like that and charlotte just kept walking in and out and she kept just popping up saying you don't know what you want you don't know what you want you don't know what you're doing i'm the one you supposed to be with 
you tripped. I'm like, mind you, I didn't start talking to somebody totally different. They calling me on FaceTime and Instagram talking about the people I'm with then who do with me, then who do me, and she got a man and she had babies on the way. I'm like, bro, what is you talking about? Like, Shada was tripping. Like, how are you going to tell me the person that I'm with is pregnant and I'm looking at the girl? She's not pregnant. Like, what is you talking about? Even though the relationship with the girl that she was calling about didn't work, but she did not, she was not pregnant while I was talking to her. And, like, I don't know if she had a nigga on the side or not. I don't know. But as far as I know, I'm like, that ain't your place. And you don't know me like that to be telling me no stuff like that. So she just kept showing up at my job, bro. And she kept showing, like, she just kept doing weird stuff. So boom, boom. We fast for a couple months. Like, I'm really trying to play it cool because I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I'm not finna be fighting nobody. I'm not finna be doing none of that. I love everybody. So, boom. Like, a couple months, man. Now, it's raining. I would never forget this. I had to work the night shift. The night shift, which is 1 to 10 o'clock at night. So, man, I'm really by myself at this time at this job. Why was I by myself at this time at my job? So, boom. Man, I'm by myself. It's raining outside. Man, this girl then came in my job. Man, I'm trying to get away from her. Why you don't want to talk to me? Why you don't want to talk to me? I'm just steady walking to the back. Mind you, you know, like, I don't know if y'all know, but when you work at a department store, you clock in in the back, like going through double doors, like clocking. I didn't went in the back trying to get away from this chick, and she didn't follow me through the double doors. My nigga, <laughs> like, I could not get away. It was nothing like people just like she was really following me, chasing me through the store. Like my stalker was going crazy. Like she was stalking my life, looking at my Facebook, Instagram, seeing where my location was. I guess like because I'm working. If I post something at work, she know when I'm at work. Cause she'll be off and then she just walked to Walmart. I'm like, what is you doing, Shouty? So man, I'm walking through the door door trying to avoid all contact don't want to talk to her man like literally so i gets back with a was was um you supposed to clock in it man when i say i told shot man go on here about your business for i knew it i had my back turned y'all like back my head back my head shot came up bah! in the back of my head bro i had my phone i dropped my phone and everything because i'm on the clock i know it's cameras in this jump so i ain't finna even retaliate because i need my job shawty needs her job like i'm i need my money my coins gotta be made so shawty hit me in the back of the head real hard made me drop my phone and everything so i do this as in I as i turn around she stopped hitting me grab my phone and ran like get it off like gone out of sight and I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Like, I'm in a real life fatal attraction in this mother sucker. So, I go out. I see my manager coming up. They were like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, they literally had to call police on Shorty. They called my phone because I was calling my phone from another co-worker phone. And she was like, send it the voicemail, send the voicemail, send the voicemail. So I sent the message to my own phone saying, bruh, I called the police. Bring my phone or you going to jail, shouted. Jail. J-A-I-L. Jail. So, man, shout it, pull back up. Bring my phone. The police was like, standing to the side. You know, I called my mama and everything because I ain't never had nothing like this happen to me. Man, police, like, are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, I just want my phone back. And she was like, with the umbrella. We standing outside. She got an umbrella. I'm standing in the rain trying to get my phone back. She go through my phone and be like, this what you doing? You got somebody else? Baby, we was never together. Like, we wasn't together. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I can do what I want to do. You do what you want to do. Please leave me alone. Go about your business. It is many fish in the sea. And I ain't one of the best ones to have. So why is you sweating me? Like, I ain't the best fish, but I'm a good fish. I'm a good catch. But I ain't no prize. You know, I'm a poem. Did I just? Anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. Like, so I just want my phone back. And y'all, when I say I got my phone back, 
Don't y'all know shout Girl seen the message of me going to somebody else's house. I told I wanted somebody else. That still didn't work. Fast forward two years later. She's still on my trail. DMing my brother. Mind you. Like, I had a family member that passed. She contacted my brother asking me how I'm doing. Now, some supposed to click in your head to say, if you know you can't reach out to me personally, we don't need to be talking, right? So, at the time, I'm in a relationship, and the short I'm talking to got children. Why is she in tech inboxing my brother talking about I should be with her, and I'm just being a babysitter and all this weird stuff? Like, man, what in the world is going on with you? Like, only thing... I mean, this went on for years, for two, three years. Only thing that stopped Shouty from messing with me is she got somebody else. Finally, she got somebody else. And she still inbox me to this day from time to time. But I just keep it cordial, you know. I try to not, because I'm not a bad person. I don't want nobody to be mad at me. I ain't trying to do none of that. But that's just so crazy to me how life goes it made me feel you know like everybody don't have I, I don't know if it's the love people need or they just reaching for something i don't know why people do what they do but man that was the most crazy experience of my life and to this day ain't nothing and i hope to god don't nothing crazy like that happen to me no more because that was the craziest thing i've ever been through man and since y'all know my coming out story I felt like it was only right y'all knew what it was like for me jumping off the porch. Because I told y'all I jumped off the porch green. Green as hell, not knowing nothing. Like, eyes wide shut type green. And I just had to learn a lot. I got a lot more experiences. Y'all can look at me and be like, what in the hell was wrong with you? Like, are you okay? You was real. Something was really wrong with you. Like, I just didn't know no better. I just didn't. You know? I just didn't. So... Yeah, even though I said this was gonna be a mukbang, man, I got into the store. I really, I really forgot I had this bag right here. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the story, and I hope I can like just help somebody. I don't know if somebody can relate to this. If y'all can relate to this, man, hit the comments down below. Let me know what y'all talking about. Let me know what y'all have been through. Cause man, that that's me. I just feel like. That was a growing moment for me. So, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if y'all ain't subscribed yet, man. Just give your girl some sympathy. Hell, it don't cost you nothing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video, man. And until next time, man. Happy Pride Month once again. We on this road to 500. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, man. Peace.